Hey guys, it's me, Blair Hastings at Open Mic here at the FPTV station, and we have Arts Lives Theater in the house. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing well, thank you very much. <laughs> look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Did them, you guys... them. Oh, well, I, I love all of you guys. Look at that. <laughs> but like, did you guys come up with your outfits? Um, or was it like given to you? I actually bought this skirt, but oh everything gosh. else was uh, given to me. I love it. Man, I kind of want to join this play, but I know that I am not young enough. I am 34 years old and I cannot be in your puffs play. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> So, um, Mark, uh, this is Mark Landon Smith. He is the executive director for Arts Live Theater. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about Arts Live Theater. Arts Live is a nonprofit children's youth theater company. We are celebrating our 37th year. Oh, my gosh. Um, and Only three we, years older than I am. <laughs> right. My goodness. Um, and um, <laughs> we do uh, produce plays and um, for uh, using young actors ages six to eighteen. Nice. And uh, we uh, before pre-pandemic we were doing fourteen shows a year, which is a huge production oh my schedule. Gosh. Yeah. And then in the pandemic, we uh, or in the pandemic at the beginnings of it, we shifted very quickly to virtual. Wow. And. Uh, a lot of our young actors became involved in our virtual theater program, and now mm -hmm. we're going back into in person with Puffs. These the magic of theater is coming back at Arts Live <laughs> Theater, and like, uh, we're yes, excited to be it. in person again. So uh, that is so exciting. Yeah. It's not the same when it is virtual is fun, but I guess like it's not the same as live theater. With it's, a, yeah, it's not because you don't have the audience there to react off of. Right, you don't have yeah. each other to to react off of. Um, mm -hmm. And all of our actors did an excellent job during our virtual. Uh, year nice. uh, of producing and acting in our virtual But we are done but, with uh, the pandemic. I hope this will <laughs> persist well. to be live theater for sure. All right, guys, we have Raiden Courtney, and we also have Haley Ann Staley. Is that right? All right, guys. Well, welcome to FPTV. How are you guys doing? Good. Very good. Yeah. Good. Can you tell us about your characters? Um, so... Wanda, she's kind of, she's a little out there mm -hmm. sometimes, but other times she's kind of, like, preserved, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't really know a lot of people at the beginning, but come, mm -hmm. but becomes really close with um, these two other characters, um, oh. uh, Oliver and Megan, and mm -hmm. they're like a trio, and oh, they, nice. uh, like, go on all these, all these crazy adventures throughout the seven years, and yeah, that's just... Oh my that's really gosh, fun. that's so cool. It's like a camaraderie and like a friendship that you develop yeah. with these two characters. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that you're in this um, this play or this school for seven years. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific like um, scene or situation that you three get into that is your favorite? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Megan's mom, she's uh, mm -hmm. an evil wizard. Oh. If, and... Um, my she goodness. kidnapped Megan and Oliver, and oh. I run in, and I, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> and um, she also gets me, right. which is crazy. And then she, we find out that she's actually terrible at magic, and oh, she releases yeah. us. And then we have this whole thing where we talk to her and like tell her everything about mm -hmm. um, like how puffs are amazing and how they're not like stupid and like mm -hmm. what everything that she thinks they are. Oh my gosh, that's really so fun. cool. But you did you helped this um, mean character become like a better character? Yes. That's so cool. I like that. That's very nice. And then we also have Haley Ann Staley here. And what is your character? Um, I play the narrator mm -hmm. and I guess the narrator narrates the story. <laughs> I love that. Um, I get... I, I help guide them through the story, oh, and okay. I find that the story is so unique because, again, everybody thinks of Puffs as these, you know, like, kind of out, like, always in their own, oh, man, <laughs> they're always kind of, like, in their head, like, mm -hmm. out in the clouds, yeah. they're just never really thinking straight, nice. but this play shows that they are powerful and loyal and oh, sweet nice. and kind, wow. and... I love that. Yeah, kind of guide them through that. So as a narrator, are you like on stage with them or are you like um, over a microphone or? Yes, I am on stage with them. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. I like that. What is your favorite scene? Uh, my favorite scene. <laughs> um, that's, there's a lot of scenes. Um, I love the scene where it's the fir in the first scene where Megan Jones, she throws the a stone behind her back, the sorcerer's stone, oh. and she was supposed to be kind of like the chosen one. Okay, her name was Megan, and she was supposed to be the chosen one. Okay, and yeah. she has the stone. She and has the stone, and she just, okay. like, throws it behind her back. Oh, nice. And so, it like, as if it's, like, nothing important. Mm -hmm. And so she's, it kind of shows how she 
honestly kind of like started up Harry's adventure mm-hmm. through like finding the stone and such. So it yeah. went to Harry instead of her, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Oh, I see. So she was supposed to have the stone and she throws it over her shoulder and then Harry finds it. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Well, that's a that's such an interesting thing that I would have never thought. So this is like mind blowing to me. Oh my goodness. So what is your favorite snack? Hmm. In real life. In real life. <laughs> okay. Um, because I hear that the puffs have a special snack that they like to snack on. Yes. The puffs <laughs> do generally like cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. I know. Okay, cool. I love it. <laughs> you so, would have never thought. My mom used to get on to me for eating cheese puffs a really weird way. I would have them in my mouth and like the big ones and I would just push it in just like the mean girls <laughs> did. But um, I still love it. So where, when can we watch you guys? When is this happening? We uh, actually open on Friday. Okay. Uh, and we're running... Nice. Uh, October 8th through the 17th, so we're doing two weekends. Okay. So we, we open on the 8th, and then we're running up the next weekend also. So uh, you can go to artslifetheater.com and get your tickets. Yes. And we are uh, limiting our audience to 40 per performance, mm-hmm. also social distancing, and uh, requiring masks for all attendees. So, yeah. Nice. We're, I'm going to have to go check it out because I am such a nerd when it comes to wizardry. Um, mm. In fact, I even have my cape that has my name at the at, in the back of it. Who so, <laughs> so, if I come and see you, I'm going to have my cape on. Is that cool? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for coming down to the open mic um, for FPTV, and we can't wait to see the, the puffs at Arts Live Theater. This is Blair Hastings. We've got Raiden Courtney, Haley Ann Staley, and Mark Landon Smith, and we're signing off, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye.